Okay. So this is, it is, it's a browser. You can, it's got tabs and stuff. Um, but the, like this stuff gets really interesting when you uh, start putting IPFS hashes in it and you can just paste an IPFS hash and it will show you the picture that we all love. <laughs> uh, but like where this really gets interesting is when you add content that is like, uh, oh, uh, that, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, that's got a load of spaces at the front. Uh, when you add content that is actually HTML content, because it can just load up pages from IPFS that are just HTML. Uh, pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. Um, and you can just browse around them um, stuff. Uh, and then you can obviously also like if you've got um, if you've got uh, just some uh, directories of content. This is the XKCD archive, uh, and you can just click on you know whatever uh, whatever you like uh, and get hold of that content. Um, I haven't clicked on all these, so like I can I can hopefully. There we go. Yeah, it just it loads. It works. It's pretty cool. It uses JS IPFS, so you don't have to um, install Go IPFS. But if you do install Go IPFS and run a daemon, then it will use the daemon that you're running, um, which is pretty cool. Um, and uh, that's not, there's not too much to say other than like this is, I'm doing this in my spare time. Uh, the browser is kind of like the, sorry, the repo is here. If you want to take a look, um, it's, uh, it's just for fun. There is, if you want to install it, there's a, there's a, and you have a Mac, then you're in luck. Cause I, I, I've managed to figure out how to create a, a binary a damage file for, for you to download um, pull requests accepted for other um, other systems um, <laughs> but uh, yeah that's about all I have um, thank you very much for listening I'm so glad my internet held out for that 